Inserting an IV into a deep vein requires a higher level of skill and precision compared to inserting an IV into more superficial veins. For deep veins, ultrasound guidance obviously is often used to help locate the vein and guide the insertion of the IV, but this requires an ultrasound machine and another set of specific skills. But deep veins are not visible, making it challenging to locate the vein accurately. This requires the practitioner to rely heavily on their knowledge of anatomy and the experience in feeling for veins. In this video, we will review the technique of palpation of the deeper veins and we will discuss the angle of needle insertion and a greater depth of penetration, which can be challenging for less experienced practitioners. Be sure to notice the organized approach to needle redirection so that you never repeat the fail angle of needle insertion twice. And just before we get started, I'm happy to announce that Nysora Press has just released an amazing new book the Manual of Difficult IV, featuring over 400 photos in actual patients, step-by-step -step guides, and video tutorials via QR code. It's your key to mastering IV access. So what we have here when we examine this, we have a deep vein over here that I can feel. We cannot see it, but I can feel it, and it's well filled. That's probably the best bet because here these are a bit, um, you know, small and branching. Here they had an unsuccessful attempt, as you could see. And there's really no nice veins. You can place a nice, you know, lengthy catheter for this operation. And so we're going to use a deeper vein, or try at least. We're going to take a longer catheter. And we're going to also slightly bend it, which would allow us to to lift the needle tip up as necessary. So I'm palpating the vein. Okay, and I'm going to fix the vein with a little digital traction here. And we're going to first insert pinch. Okay, and then we'll try to penetrate the vein. Okay, so first this angle of insertion is unsuccessful. So we're going to pull back and slightly change the angle in advance in a slightly different angle to see whether we can calculate it. We did not hit the wall and we're going to change the angle again in a different direction. And now it appears to be in the vein. So you see a little fan technique that allows us to go left, right, right or midline, left, right results in cannulation of a deeper vein. Okay, release this. Press proximally so we don't create um, a mess on the bed. A touch and here we go. A deep vein with a 20 gauge catheter that works. Very nice flow. Okay, here we're going to tape this, and that was it. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to share the techniques of cannulating deep veins, and if you like our video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss the future ones. Until next time.